Hey guys, it's Ashley with Pucks and Pearls, and tonight we're going to be doing the Winter Fortune Cookie Soap Unboxing. This is what the box look like or looks like. It has a nice little fortune cookie on there. And then here is the winter box. It looks very white and red, as you can see. Here's a little sneak peek. And then the theme is called Through the Wardrobe. So if you guys are familiar with Narnia and all of the books, and I think movies now that have come out, um, I'm familiar with it, but it's been a really, really long time since I've gotten into that series. So I don't, I'm probably not going to recognize a lot of the connections to the names in it. But um, this is our little cheat sheet, but we're not going to look at it. We try to guess the names, in this, or we try to guess the scents. Um, and then I try to tell you a little bit about each one and if I like it or not. And this will be coming out soon if it's not already out when this video comes up. I will link all of the information below to fortunecookiesoap.com and when this specific collection does launch. But um, without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get into it. And for those that don't know, this is a $25 seasonal subscription box that you can get from Fortune Cookie Soap. And they send you the um, kind of preview of the collection before it launches. Normally you get it about a week or two before the actual thing does launch. So these are like sample sizes and then you can buy bigger sizes if you want to and they do give you like a $10 coupon code to utilize so I like it it's just a fun way to experience their scents which are extremely extremely unique if you have never tried them before okay guys so first up I think this is a conditioning bar for your hair it seems kind of kind of like squishy and it seems very like I don't know like really got like maybe some conditioner in there and it smells like spearmint or like some kind of mint. So let's see if that's the case. This is called Deep Magic and this is a shampoo bar. Okay, so it's a little bit more creamy. I thought it would be conditioning, but it's shampoo. And it says there is a magic deeper secret. And Dutch is on the bed now. <laughs> back to what I was saying. Deep magic. There is a magic deeper still that goes back before the dawn of time. This shampoo bar will restore your hair to life with a revitalizing blend of rosemary, fresh garden herbs, and revitalizing mint. That's really what I smell is the mint in this. Even the witch's magic couldn't keep those dead ends dead for good. So this is what it looks like up close. I'm not normally a big fan of shampoo bars, but this one seems extra creamy and extra nourishing, so I definitely will give this a shot. Okay guys, so next up is a little bath bomb. This looks like a fortune cookie bath bomb. It's very, very tiny. It's white with some red dots in it. And this kind of smells like almost like a white chocolate or something kind of deeper and darker. Let's see what it says. It's called Small Favors. This is a petty bomb. Okay, so this is for your feet. It doesn't take a lot to under or to unwind and relax. Only warm honey with a hint of Professor's Tobacco Pipe brightened by spiced citrus slices. The petty bomb will have you thankful for small favors. So, Okay, I definitely can get the tobacco. It, it does have like a darker scent to it, so I do get the tobacco. <laughs> That's kind of a weird, but again, kind of a unique scent, and what a fun little thing for a petty bomb. Okay guys, next up is their classic OCD hand sanitizer, and this says Always Winter. And if you look at the back of it, it's just clear with a ton of really pretty sparkles. Those look like holographic little tiny um, micro sparkles, so let's see what this one smells like. I love, I love the sparkle to it. That is so cute. So their sanitizers are really great. If you love hand sanitizers, they have a ton of scents. Normally it smells very strong alcohol at first, but that always kind of subsides and then you get a better scent. Oh, this smells like balsam or like evergreen. I think that's what it is. Let's see if we're right this time. Okay, so this shade or this scent is called Always Winter, but Never Christmas for those germs. The OCD hand sanitizer will keep germs frozen away from holiday notes of evergreen fir needles, warm cinnamon, crisp cranberries, apple curls, and cedar wood. So it has a couple of different things in there, but I truly smell like, if you like pine or balsam, that's what I smell. It's a really nice like holiday scent. Oh my gosh, so this is really weird. This is their fortune cookie soap, but it's got like powdered sugar on it and it's like totally coming off on my hands. It smells like some kind of fruit. Like I want to say cranberry, but I'm not quite sure, but it's like a jelly kind of see-through color. 
This is called Sweeties. It says, don't even try to resist the candied Sweeties of Turkish delight. With this fortune cookie soap, scented and traditional rose water with toasted pistachios, amaretto, and warm buttery cookies, it will leave you asking the witch for more. Just remember, a little goes a long way. It's, it, it's a weird scent, but I do smell the rose water and like, it's, it's really weird. Now this is just to me really unique, but it's got a light sweet tone to it and I do kind of like the rose water. But there is like some weird pistachio and butter cookie thing going on. That is so, so strange. I'll be honest though, like this is getting really, really messy, so I don't know like how often I could keep this one out. They normally do keep like a line from the movie in them, so let's see what fortune or cookie or what's in the cookie. It says, greetings gents, lost something, have we? So I guess that's a line from the movie. I Honestly, it's been so long. Or the book, maybe. I don't know. But this one is super messy. This white stuff is going everywhere. Okay, guys. It's been a while since I've seen a whipped soap in anything. This is called Hide and Seek. So these bottles are really, really cute, and I love their packaging. So let's see how the whipped soap is. Um, last time they discontinued their whipped soaps because I guess they weren't traveling well. Like in the heat, they were getting kind of like melted. Oof, I do not like this. I think this is white chocolate. It's kind of like a, just kind of a light white cream. Like I said, this is a soap, so. Yeah, I'm, I'm not a fan of this, and I think it's a chocolate scent, but let's just check it out to make sure. This is called Hide and Seek. One, two, three, four, five. Are you hiding yet or seeking marshmallow soft whipped soap? Chase after the scent of decadent blends of dark chocolate, covered espresso beans, allspice, and a light coconut cream. Who said anyone was too old for a game of hide and seek? Whip to fluffy perfection. Use our whipped soap as a shaving cream or an all-over body wash. I think I definitely get the um, those darker, like dark chocolate and espresso, and I just don't like that in a body wash. I don't know why. I just don't want to have like that, like that dark of a scent. But it's definitely a deeper scent like that. If you enjoy it, this is definitely what that is. Okay, guys. Next up, I'm not sure if this is a. It looks like some type of oil with like I don't know. It looks like um some type of floral in there. So really different. Let's see what this is. Oh, it's a rollerball perfume. This is beautiful. It smells like cranberries. Oh yeah, it smells like winter cranberry. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. This is called Lion's Breath. It is a perfume oil. Wrong will be right when this perfume oil comes in sight. Be rejuvenated by the king himself with fresh and invigorating scents of glistening winter frost and fir needles, dripping with sweet nectar of ripened pomegranates. Your senses will feel alive again at every last drop of this perfume oil graces your skin. I love this scent so far. This is my favorite. Oh, it is so pretty. I definitely get cranberry and fir needles, so maybe it's the pomegranate I'm smelling and I think it's cranberry, but oh, it is such a beautiful winter gorgeous type of perfume oil. Oh, I absolutely love it. And the packaging is so cute. All right, next up is called Dream of a Dream, and this is dusting powder. So I guess this is, I want to say this is probably dry shampoo. Let's see. I think they normally do dry shampoo in this stuff, so I'm assuming that's what this is. And again, it just comes out in like a white powder. And it kind of smells like, I think it's citrus or citrus and balsam maybe. Let's see. Okay, so this is called, we said dream of a dream. Step out of the shower and into a new world with our brand new dusting powder. A comforting and soothing blend of lavender, vanilla, musk, and patchouli will brush your skin with the softness of pleasant dreams. Microfine powders and clay absorb sweet and smooth your skin while the essential oils keep you feeling fresh all day. So that's weird. It's like a dry lotion. And it is kind of like a, I definitely get the musk now that I'm like looking at that. Really, really unique scent. So I'm getting um, the vanilla, the lavender, the musk. Interesting. So it's a microfine powder you put on your skin with essential oils. Wow. Okay, well that's definitely different. It's got a very unique but very, I think, calming scent for after the shower. 
Okay guys, last but not least is the Father Christmas and this is their whipped cream. Now I love their creams. I personally think these are the softest, most like nice, um, nice thing for your skin. They just sink in and they moisturize really well. Now I don't always love the scent though, so we'll have to see. Let's see what it is. Mm, it smells food-like, like almost pumpkin. And I, I feel like they do that a lot with their whipped creams, and I just don't like the food. I don't like that. It also smells like there's some, like, fur, like Christmas pine or something. Let's see. Um, he's come at last. The witch may have kept him out for a long time, but our whipped cream has come at long last. With a chilly blast of winter air blowing through blue juniper brush. So juniper, I smell that. Dusted with frosty snow and hints of iced vanilla cupcakes. It's the cupcakes. It's that, like... It smells like the, the breading of the cupcake, not like the icing. So for some reason, like, I just don't like that. It smells like a bakery. It has a bakery smell to it. So I love the consistency of this, but I just, I don't really like the scent. So I would say these were very hit and miss to me with the scents. But if I had to give you my two favorite scents, it's going to have to be the perfume oil and the OCD um, Always Winter hand sanitizer. I really liked these the best out of the entire box. So these would be my picks. Let me know if you guys are buying anything from this collection or if you also get the fortune cookie soap box. What did you guys think of it? Um, I always love reviewing these because they're just fun to do and the scents are so unique. I mean they are very very different. I cannot stress how different they are. So it's just kind of fun to see if there is stuff you like um, because I don't think you'll love everything because there's different things for different people but it's so much fun to try it and find unique ones for you. So thanks guys for watching. As always, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I will talk to you there and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.